Hello friends, in this video we are going to generate a cast and I have opened the movie app list we have created with the live wire and here we have the inline form with the input for the cast ID and we have this button to generate a new cast. Also I have opened the GitHub repository of the Laravel live wire movie and I'm going to open the live wire cast index blade to copy that form open now the cast index page and here when you have a link to create tag here I'm going to remove this link and paste that form and hit save also run the npm run watch and now if I refresh yeah, we have this form here. Just now we need to make some changes. So here we need to say V model instead of the wire model. And here also on click generate this cast. So first copy this and create a new constant for that I'm going to say const uh, with that name is going to be a ref an empty string and also the generate cast is going to be a method function with that name and uh, here we can also say inertia dot post and sorry uh, here we have the admin slash cast and we need to add the TMDB cast TMDB ID to be the cast TMDB ID we have here okay save open also the cast controller And here we need to create the method. So function for the store method. And I'm going to dine dump first the request input tmdb uh, and what I'm going to copy cast the empty BAD okay save now if I come here and refresh uh, I have opened the moviedb.org and I'm going to copy this from person paste that in click generate and nothing happened And why is that? So inertia post okay, so inspect element. Cast TMDB is not defined. Uh, 
value yeah sorry friends we need to add the value here and save come here and refresh now copy that and paste it here click generate and yeah we get the id now okay now we can uh, generate i'm going to open the live wire cast index and here we, we make a we make a http get request as json and check if we have the cast with that id uh, and I'm going to create something else here. So instead of adding this and also the key, I'm going to open the services. Okay, so here we have the service. I'm going to create new one for the TMDB. TMDB. And here I'm going to add the secret which is going to be the TMDB uh, secret and I'm going to add the default one which is uh, this one so copy that ID that uh, secret and paste it here and maybe the endpoint also so I'm going to say endpoint and it's going to be env tmdb and point or by default i'm going to add http uh, the movie db.org and three and that's it because we have person for the cast this for the movies we have movie and so on so I'll just add this one copy and paste it here uh, hit save okay close this one now in cast controller so here we first we make a, a request and I'm going to check first because I had a comment in the previous video, so cast, cast where TMDB is this input here. And I'm going to say if we have a cast so if the cast exists here uh, I'm going to return and maybe why I'm not co I'm going to copy what we have in the tag controller return redirect with flash banner Okay, so come here and say return or redirect. We need to import that. So the admin cast index with flash banner uh, cast exist. Cast exist. Now, if we don't have the cast, we need to generate one so i'm going to say here copy this one and come here and say not new cast but uh, tmdb cast 
and also we need to import that SCTP get and we can add the config dot and in the config we have the tmdb tmdb uh, dot endpoint services tmdb endpoint and person okay and here also apk is that the same thing so config and services dot uh, tmdb dot secret okay now we have this and I'm not going to get as a JSON first, just this one, and we are going to check if we have a... Okay, from the response. And if that, I'm going to create the new cast. So copy this one. Come here. And paste it. And instead of if cast, I'm going to say if the TMDB cast. And I'm going to open the uh, new tab here and say laravel.com and search for the HTTP client. Okay, so here we make a get request. And I'm going to check if we have successful response. and not uh, dollar sign if we have successful response we are going to create a new cast and just change this to be a tmdb cast okay so here we are going to create that and I'm going to copy this and paste it and say uh, cast created. Otherwise, uh, cast or the API error I'm going to say and hit save go to the browser refresh here and copy the id paste it here and click generate controller define property cast tmtb id First, we need to import this one. It will need support, okay. And next, what is this? Yeah, here we have, we need to add 
So this one here. And save and call it, try again. Copy the ID, paste it here and click generate. We need now to add the fillable property. Okay, open the cast model. And why I'm not going to the, so the table class. Okay, here I'm going to say protected the fillable. And here we have the TMDB ID. Inertia movie open and cast TMDB ID name slug and poster path. Okay, so here name and we need to add name slug and the poster path. Okay, save. From here and refresh, add the ID there, click generate and cast created. Now come here and refresh and also we have the cast created here. That's it how we can generate cast with the, and by default you see here we have the name, the slug and the poster path. Okay friends, that is for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best friends.